Arriving at the vice president's residence in Washington this morning, former Attorney General Eric Holder, the man leading the vetting process for Kamala Harris's running mate selection. Vice President Harris off the trail and hunkered down this weekend, facing the biggest decision yet of her campaign, meeting with those in contention for her current job as she buys for the presidency. Her shortlist believed to include Arizona Senator Mark Kelly, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, and four governors, Kentucky's Andy Bashir, J.B. Pritzker from Illinois, Minnesota's Tim Waltz, and Josh Shapiro from Key Battleground, Pennsylvania. Her decision expected by Tuesday, as tonight her campaign is grappling with the tabloid report about second gentleman Doug Emhoff's past. The report, which NBC News has not independently verified, saying Emhoff had an affair during his first marriage, years before his involvement with Harris. In a statement tonight, Emhoff saying he and his first wife, quote, went through some tough times on account of my actions. I took responsibility and in the years since, we worked through things as a family. 94 days from now, we're going to win the great state of Georgia in an epic landslide. Former President Trump in Atlanta, Georgia tonight, where the latest polls show an essentially tied contest. Tonight's event at the same venue where Harris rallied 10,000 supporters on Tuesday and called on Trump to honor the planned September 10th presidential debate. Because as the saying goes, if you've got something to say... But Trump now wants to change the date and the network, challenging Harris to debate him in Pennsylvania on September 4th with Fox News serving as a debate host. And Vice President Harris responded on social media saying she'll be there at the previously agreed upon date of September 10th and that she hopes she'll see former President Trump there. Les 